Ever wondered how crucial density functional theory is in studying adsorption behavior? Well, let's explore that. Density functional theory, or DFT, is a computational quantum mechanical modeling method. It's used extensively in physics and chemistry to investigate the electronic structure of matter. When it comes to adsorption, DFT is a game changer. Adsorption is a process where atoms or molecules from a gas, liquid or dissolved solid adhere to a surface. It's a surface-based process and the adsorbate is the substance that adheres, while the adsorbent is the surface it adheres to. DFT provides a detailed understanding of this process by allowing us to investigate the electronic characteristics of the adsorbit and the adsorbent. Beyond just simulating adsorption processes, DFT lets us study other adsorption behaviors of the adsorbent or macromolecular structures. It's a powerful tool that opens doors to a deeper understanding of the world at the molecular level. Now that we've grasped the significance of DFT and adsorption studies, let's delve into a specific study that utilized this powerful methodology. Qui et al.'s research stands as a testament to the power of density functional theory in adsorption studies. Diving into the heart of the study, the team led by Qui made significant strides in the field by employing density functional theory, or DFT. Their work revolved around the calculation of electronic density of states and adsorption energies of hydrogen, adsorbed on two rich surfaces of adsorbent. But let's break it down. The electronic density of states, often shortened to DOS, is a measure of the number of electronic states that are available for electrons to occupy at each energy level. In simpler terms, it's a way to understand how electrons are distributed in a material, and it's critical for understanding a material's properties. QI and his team used DFT to calculate the DOS for hydrogen adsorbed on these specific surfaces. This was no small feat. It involved intricate calculations and a deep understanding of both DFT and the properties of hydrogen. Moving on to adsorption energies, this refers to the energy released or consumed when a substance is adsorbed onto a surface. It's a crucial factor in determining how well a substance will stick to a surface. Again, Kui and his team used DFT to calculate these energies for hydrogen on the two surfaces. The findings from this study were groundbreaking. They not only provided new insights into how hydrogen behaves when adsorbed onto these surfaces, but also demonstrated the power of DFT in such investigations. The calculated DOS and adsorption energies painted a picture of the complex interactions at play, and the information gleaned from this study has far-reaching implications for the field of chemistry. The work of Kui and his team exemplifies how DFT can be used not just to simulate adsorption processes, but also to delve into other adsorption behaviors. It's a shining example of the versatility of DFT and its potential in various scientific explorations. Kui et al.'s research truly underlines the immense potential of DFT in providing an in-depth understanding of adsorption behaviors. So, what are the key takeaways from our discussion today? Firstly, we've seen how density functional theory, or DFT, is an invaluable tool in the study of adsorption behaviors. It's not limited to simply simulating the adsorption process of adsorbents. DFT provides a broader scope, allowing us to delve deeper into other behaviors of adsorbents and even macromolecules. Then, we've explored the pioneering study by Kui and his team. They used DFT to calculate the electronic density of states, and adsorption energies of hydrogen adsorbed on two rich surfaces of adsorbents. Their findings are a testament to the potential and power of DFT in advancing our understanding of complex chemical processes. With that, we wrap up our discussion on density functional theory and its role in studying adsorption behavior. Visit Aminolkim Innovation for more information, and don't forget to like, comment, and share. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of chemistry.